I pray in initial Gaza. I see attack of poor streak. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Approximately two hours after the indiscriminate rocket fire toward Israel, an IDF aircraft struck a Hamas military post in the southern Gaza Strip. The target was destroyed, yet no Islamist casualties were reported. In response to the incident, an Israeli intelligence official revealed to TV7 that the Israeli security establishment does not rule out the possibility in which the Islamist Hamas organization will instigate a new round of violence on Israel's southern front. The official explained that a deteriorating situation in the Palestinian enclave is increasingly challenging Hamas's power grip. Therefore, if Qatar would terminate its monthly financial aid to Gaza, it could very well spark a wider conflagration at a time when the Palestinians are increasingly frustrated over the normalization accords between Israel and the Arab world. It is important to mention that in light of the so-called Abraham Accords which brought about normalized relations between Israel, the United Arab Emirates and Bahrain, rival Palestinian factions including the Islamist Hamas which controls the Gaza Strip and Fatah which controls the West Bank have reportedly made progress in talks on the matter of confronting Israeli aspirations to attain comprehensive peace agreements with Arab and Muslim states. The latest of the intra-Palestinian meetings was held in the Turkish city of Istanbul, after which the Hamas leadership confirmed that preliminary understandings were indeed reached. Furthermore, in a written statement, Hamas proclaimed that it remains committed to the option of resistance for the purpose of conquering all of Israel, in which it aspires to establish an independent Palestinian state with all of Jerusalem as its capital.